Hello, booktube. Welcome back to my channel, The Reading Outlaw. I am Chelsea. Today we are doing a book haul. We are, I got, have been sent some books from publishers uh, over the last couple of months and some things from friends and I bought a couple things and pre-ordered a couple things. So I wanted to show all of that to you guys. So let's dive right in. The first thing is something I was sent from the wonderful Elena over at Elena Loves Books, and that is A Portable Shelter by Christy Logan. Sorry, I, I know it'll glare at you, but I just wanted you to see how pretty it is, the silver gilt. This is a collection of short story fairy tales that uh, occur within the framework of a, a lesbian couple who have conceived a child and are telling the child's stories in the womb. And uh, yeah. Liska and Ruth are their names, and so they take turns telling the baby stories, even though they've promised to only ever tell the baby things that are true. Um, they both break that promise to tell the baby stories. Uh, Elena did not care for it necessarily, so she offered to send it to me, and I really l adored the Grace Keepers when I read it, so I thought that the premise sounded interesting enough that I very gladly took it off her hand. So thank you very, very much, Elena. I will link her channel down below. Next up from Vintage or from Freight Books, we have Treats by Laura Williams. This is a collection of short stories, um, basically just kind of about what it's like living in the 21st century in your mid to late 20s, early 30s. It's supposed to be very, very good, very, very smart. Um, I know several people who have read it uh, who have highly, highly recommended it. So I'm really looking forward to digging into that one along with this one. Because I am a young adult librarian, Freight sent me a young adult title that they have coming up, and that is The Few by Kathy McSporin. Um, this is about a young girl named Maggie who learns that she has secret powers. So she joins, and it takes place in the 1940s in Britain, so she joins up with a group of British wizards whose job is to stop a group of young adult German necromancers who are helping the Reich take over the world. So, um, it actually sounds like it's going to ring a couple of my bells, witchcraft, World War II, uh, historical fiction. I really, really enjoy that cover. So I'm very, very grateful to them for kind of sending that to me unrequested and I'm looking forward to getting to it. Next up from Hogarth, we have Ann Tyler's Vinegar Girl. If the name Ann Tyler sounds familiar to you, it's probably because her novel, A Spool of Blue Thread, A Spool of Blue Thread, was nominated for the Man Booker last year. This is her retelling of Taming of the Shrew. Hogarth Press does the Hogarth Shakespeare line, which is modern authors doing retellings. Um, of Shakespeare. I have Shylock is my name checked out from the library at the moment and that is the Hogarth Press um, rendition or reimagining of um, oh goodness Merchant of Venice. Sorry I forgot the play but like I said this is Taming of the Shrew. This is the modern ad adaptation of that written by Ann Tyler so I'm really looking forward to getting to that. And then after that my friend Jen Campbell, my lovely friend Jen Campbell her publisher was kind enough to send me a copy of all three of her books. So we have Weird Things Customers Say in Bookshops, which is exactly like it sounds. It is uh, weird phrases, odd questions, and things that Jen overheard in her years as a bookseller. As a sequel to that, we have More Weird Things Customers Say in Bookshops. <laughs> Excuse me. And lastly, the one I'm probably most excited about getting to is the Bookshop book, which is profiles of bookshops from all over the world, big and small, and all the things that we love the most about uh, books and the places that we buy them. So I am really, really, really grateful to Jen's publicist for sending me those. Next up, we have a book that I requested. This is a book from Grand Central Publishing. It's called Quarter Life Poetry, Poems for the Young, the Broke, and the Hangry by Samantha Jane. Uh, I saw that this proof or I saw this in a catalog on Edelweiss and requested a proof from the publisher. It is literally just illustrations and poems all about being in your quarter life. This one says, my pants are too tight and my shirt shrunk up higher. What could be the culprit, dessert or the dryer? So it's just like fun, cute little ones. Summer is coming. I'll help you get ready by eating your half finished plate of spaghetti. So, you know, it's just a cute little book of poems they're almost like little postcards like I'm tempted to kind of cut some of them out and like put them up on my bulletin board at work which I might just do if I find anything particularly interesting but it looks to be just you know like a really fun cute little um poetry 
poetry book. So yeah, I'm really, really excited uh, to get through that one. I will probably get through this in the upcoming genre-thon, which if you have not heard about that, I will link a video about it down below. It is happening in April, I believe the 10th through the 17th. Um, so one of my, po one of my genres for that will be poetry. So I'll probably get to this then. And then lastly, in terms of the ones I was very kindly sent, we have books from, uh, Penguin Random House. This is Arena by Holly Jennings. This is about a future world in which, um, online competitive, basically gladiator duels occur. Um, it's like a digital arena fight to the death. Um, and the back says that although the fighting is digital, the pain is real. So for whatever that means, I haven't read it yet, so I don't know. But it is about, um, what's her name? Ky Callie Ling, who is the first female tournament champion in history. And I guess it just kind of chronicles uh, her adventures. She has to kind of confront some deep secrets. Sounds like some pretty shady stuff might be going on behind the scenes at the tournament that she has to dig into. Um, but yeah, I am really, really excited to get to this. It goes on sale April 6th from Ace Publishing. So definitely excited to get to this one and to check that one out. And then lastly, we have the new Guy Gabriel K novel, Children of Earth and Sky. I, this is the one I requested and then they very kindly sent along Arena with that. I love Guy Gavriel K. I am very, very excited to get into this one. It basically sounds like it follows the lives of several characters as an Eastern Empire launches war on a Western Empire. At least that's what the back says. I am just so, so, so very excited to get to this one. Like I said, I really enjoy Guy Gavriel K. So I'm looking forward to picking this one up. And then I bought a couple of things or pre-ordered a couple of things. After reading The Vegetarian, I could not stop thinking about it and talking to people about it, specifically Jean and Brittany. I just, I had a lot of feelings and like thoughts about that book that I had to work out. So of course, what's the thing I do? I went on to Book Depository and ordered Han Kang's first book, Human Acts. This takes place in 1980 in Gwangju, South Korea, in the wake of a viciously suppressed student uprising and follows uh, several characters or entities. I guess uh, we follow a young man as he looks for uh, his brother. We follow a spirit as it looks for a body. And we follow uh, the general course of a country as it kind of deals with revolution. So her first book was so incredibly well done and, and weird and heavy and just full of thoughts and emotions and things, I'm thinking this one's going to be really good too. So I I ordered this pretty much immediately after I finished The Vegetarian. Next up, we have a book that I'm planning on buddy reading soon called Theater of the Gods by M. Sedane. And I'm actually going to read the inside flap for this one because it's what sold me on actually buying the book. So first of all, the end papers are absolutely gorgeous. And the inside says... This is the story of M. Francisco Fabregas, explorer, philosopher, heretical physicist, who took a ship full of children on a frightening voyage to the next dimension. Assisted by a teenage captain, a brave deaf boy, a cunning blind girl, and a sultry botanist, all the while pursued by the Pope of the Universe and a well-dressed mesmerist. Dark plots, demonic cults, murderous jungles, quantum mayhem, the birth of creation, the death of time, and a creature called the Sweetie. All this and more awaits beyond the veil of reality. What even is that? I am so excited to read this book and find out what all of those things and words mean. I am just, this book, it just looks very, very pretty. There are illustrations. The paper quality seems really nice. I am just, I read that description and I had to read it like two or three more times immediately because I was just like, what even is happening here? So I'm very, very excited for this one. And then lastly, we have The Winged Histories by Sophia Samatar. I purchased this without knowing that it is actually like the sequel slash companion novel to Stranger in Elandria, which I have not read. But then I saw Rachel from Colonati talk about it on her channel, which I will link to below. And I asked her if you had to read Strangers in a Laundry before reading this one, like if you'd be spoiled if you didn't. And she said no. So I'm going to read this one anyway. She actually said it might be interesting to like read them in reverse and see how that works for you, like how that changes the experience. So, you know, we will have to see, but I'm very excited to get to this. This basically follows four different female characters through um, a war basically. One of them's a soldier. One of them's, I think, an artist. One of them, um, 
Oh man, I'm gonna have to cut all of that out. But yeah, um, so I'm very, very, very excited to get to this one and I'm looking forward to um, picking up Strangers in a Laundry right afterwards. And that is everything. Those are all the books that in the last couple months I've either purchased or pre-ordered or had sent to me very kindly by publishers. Um, as you guys know, I get a lot of stuff from my library. So when I get sent stuff or when I decide to buy stuff, uh, it's usually stuff that I'm really excited about. So yeah, thank you very much for stopping by. Feel free to let me know down below if you've read any of these or if you want to read any of these, if you have any thoughts. As always, please subscribe, like, comment, and check me out all over the internet. All right, guys. Bye.